I mean, Trigger's Got No Heart became a hit. Yeah. And an all-time classic. And you continued to, you know, to continue a relationship with Tupac after that? Yeah, we, we, he was really, <laughs> we started kicking it tough after that. Um, that's, you know, that's when we ended up, we was hanging out a lot and uh, one, of the, one of our mutual friends died and we ended up doing the song, Jealous Got Me Strapped. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Tupac continued to just get bigger and bigger. You know, I mean, he did Poetic Justice. He did, um, I mean, he was in Above the Rim. And his albums started going crazy. Like, yeah. you know, I Get Around came out, and then Dear Mama, <laughs> and then he started going to jail. Yeah, it was it was a lot. It was a and lot. Then, going and the on. shooting and the shooting happened at Quad Studios. Mm -hmm. Were you around him during that time? Mm -hmm. We was we was you know we was really we was really close at that point in time. Like that shit fucked me up. I was mad as hell. Um, I did three months in L.A. County, and um, I get out, and Pac has done All Eyes on Me and um, Machiavelli. Hmm. And I was at the Mondrian, and he called, like, where the fuck you been, nigga? You know, and I'm like, I've been locked up for three months, fool. He was like, I'm on my way over there. So he came to the hotel, and um, that's when he started talking about everything. You know what I'm saying? He ended up going to his mom's house and chopping it up, and he started telling me, you know, everything that happened in that elevator, you know. Okay. And what did he tell you? He said, um, he said he went in there, he, he went to there, do this, do this song in the uh, studio, and he said he got to the, uh, to the studio, at the bottom of the studio, he said it was niggas sitting all in the, in the uh, uh, downstairs with newspapers and shit. He said it was like some movie shit, you know what I'm saying? He was like motherfuckers was looking over their newspapers and shit like this, you know? Um, and, and you know, he, he said um, he figured something was kind of funny when he, you know, when he seen that, and he, and he, he said he'd get in the elevator and um, as soon as, you know, he stand, get in the elevator and a dude run up in the elevator, he pull out the pistol, pull out a 45, and tell him, tell him to give him his shit. And Pac said, you know, I didn't want to give up my shit, so I grabbed, I grabbed a nigga gun. And, you know, they started tussling with the, with the, with the pistol. He said, me and, and me and the dude caught eye contact when he shot me. And then he, and then he said, I just started holding on to the gun more, you know, struggling with the nigga, and he kept, and he shot again. And he said he kept struggling, then he said he shot one more time, and he shot him in the nuts. Pac said, that's when I fell to the ground. He said the nigga shot two more times, and, um, you know, and, and I guess hit him in the in the back or, or the shoulder and, and grazed his head at the top. You know, um, and he, he you know he said uh, niggas they, they uh, ran out the elevator. He said he he said he he said he rolled over um, and pulled out the the swishers in the in the weed and, and rolled up and started rolling a, a bloody blunt. Wow. He said, because he said it, and I, you know, and I'm like, you know, what the fuck? What you mean you, you, mean you wrote a, 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 a bloody blunt? Like, what the fuck? You he said, I want to die high. Okay, I fucking, I can, <laughs> I can feel that. I, I can yeah, dig I that. He said he got to the top of the elevator and, um, and the doors opened and he said niggas was looking at him like they seen a ghost. Right, Biggie and Puffy were there. Yeah. And, um, you know, he automatically was like, you know, y'all motherfuckers, you know, set me up and shit. You know, y'all could have told me them niggas was downstairs and all of that, you know. Um, as far as I knew, you know, Biggie and Puffy ran New York at that point in time. And, it, and, and they could have, if they knew that them niggas was downstairs, they were supposed to tell him. Now, if they didn't know that them niggas was downstairs and didn't know that they had beef like that with Pac, that's another story. But if they knew that that shit was going on and didn't tell Pac that them niggas was downstairs waiting for him, then it's just as much as on their ass too. You know what I'm saying? And um, and that's just what it is. You know, as far as I'm con I'm concerned, you know, if they knew, they could shoulda and coulda said something. Yeah, I mean, and we don't know at this point whether they knew or not. Yeah, and I, I mean, I think Biggie had love for Pac. 
I really do, you know, because how could you not have love for Pac like that? You know, Biggie had love for Pac, but the the dudes that Pac was kicking it with wasn't cool. And I'm pretty well, sure, Haitian I think Jack Biggie tried to right. tell him, yeah, that them cats wasn't cool to, to ride with, you know what I'm saying? And, and um, um, Pac would tell me, and, some, and Pac, you know, some of our mutual homies would tell me, you know, hey, them niggas that Pac hanging with ain't cool out there in New York. Them Haitian, that Haitian, uh, Haitian Jack or Haitian Rick or whatever the nigga name was, Haitian Jack. wasn't cool to kick it with. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and Pac riding with the nigga. And you know, you meet a lot of people like that when you're doing this this music. I met a lot of cats. You know, oh man, you know Spice. Let me hook you up with this jewelry, man. Let me hook you up with this this female. Let me hook you up with this with this car, with this thing, you know, with this stuff, and you know, you could pay me back later, and cats end up setting you up, or you end up getting set up by the bra that they, they brought to you, yeah. or, you know what I'm saying? It's so many dudes in this, in it, like you run into somebody and they, they got, it seemed like they, the, like this dude is the devil, like he got every damn thing.